Many speakers, especially the speakers that prefer to deliver keynotes, tend to have what they call a signature talk or a signature programme. So it's a speech that they have perfected and they've worked on and they've worked on very hard. They've worked on every single word, every single intonation. It becomes set to memory and it becomes muscle memory, word memory. They know where to be. They know exactly what to say and how. It's rehearsed. It's refined. It's almost like watching a play, seeing an actor or seeing a comedian. And that's all well and good. And it's great as long as you are always in the moment when you're delivering it, that you don't allow your head to wander. You don't allow yourself to detach. And sadly, I have seen speakers where they have created that great, powerful, impactful speech and they've lost that power of that speech because they've said it so many times they're bored of hearing it. They're not there. They're no longer, they're just delivering the words. So I encourage you, if that is what you want to do to create a signature keynote, I do encourage you to change it, but I also encourage you to improvise. Keep your structure if you want to keep your structure. I'd like you to tailor it a bit too. But if you're keeping certain parts that are exactly the same, be open to improvising. Be open to changing, to listening what's happening, to seeing what's happening and change those slightly. And that's a, a different uh, mindset and it's a different way of, of working. And if you'd like some tips on how to do that, listen in to the podcast this week with Neil Malarkey, who guested with James Taylor and I on Speaking Business TV. He gives some fabulous tips and actually he even gets James and myself doing a bit of improv and we had a whale of a time. It's something that you can copy as well and you can do because I really think a lot of improvisation is just having the confidence to sort of go a little bit off piste and trusting that you're not going to trip yourself up um, either on your words or on the stage. So listen in and let me know how you feel about improv, when it's worked for you, if it hasn't worked for you. I love to hear your stories. All right.